This is the all-new 2022 BMW S1000RR, arguably one of the most amazing motorcycles available on the market today. This is the M package variant, which means it's one of the most extreme versions of one of the most extreme bikes available on the market today, at least until very recently. And today, I want to show you guys what it's like to be able to ride this amazing machine. So let's get into it. All right, so we're sitting on the S1000 double R. Uh, quick disclaimer, this is a different day. Um, and I'm sorry if because of that the video, you know, is either darker or brighter. Uh, but we had some technical issues the other day, so here I am again. <laughs> uh, but again, so th we have this beautiful, I think it's six and a half or seven inch screen that displays everything we could possibly need to know about the motorcycle nice and clearly. Uh, starting off from top to bottom, we can see that this bike, yes, it has a fuel gauge, which is absolutely incredible because a lot of bikes don't, and I don't know why. I don't understand why they do not. Um, are you really saving that much weight? I don't know. But if we go through this menu button that we have on the side and we press up, you can see that where the fuel gauge is, it changes to the total mileage that I have, the tire pressure for the front and the rear tires, the intake temperature, uh, we have how many miles we have until we have to fill up and we go back to the fuel gauge uh, By default this little display does have many more options or many more stats that are displayed on the screen However, I customized it so it only has what I personally want to know We can see right below that there's a big white square that is our speed limit indicator according to what is posted on uh, the street no, this does not have a camera like those fancy cars where it's able to read, uh, you know, the speeds, the signs that you're passing. Instead, it's paired with my phone to uh, work with the BMW Motorrad companion app that's pre-installed. Or not pre-installed, but installed by me. Um, going uh, left, you can see our miles per hour. To the right, top right hand corner, we do have the race mode. If we come over here to the mode button, we have race, rain, road, dynamic and back to race and yes uh, all of this will change the amount of power that's given engine braking abs dynamic traction control all of that stuff gets modified with every single slot and because we are on the m package we do have three individual customizable race pro modes which i will not go into on this video we have our nice uh revs that we can see right there we have our green neutral as we can see nice and bright right below that we have the time my phone's signal bars the battery and then two little icons if you can see it there's a helmet icon and a phone saying that my Cena and my phone are both paired with the bike and then finally on the left we have our heated grips uh, which comes in three different settings uh, toasty nice and warm and melt my gloves to my hands hot which is ridiculously hot even for you know the colder temperatures over here but hey you know i'm sure people like that um starting off with this right hand side like i had mentioned we have the modes our heated grips our start and ignition buttons and on the left we have this amazing wonder wheel that will just uh, control the display like i'll show you guys we have our cruise control which we just slide to the right to engage and set just like any other standard car but yes we have cruise control on a super sport which is absolutely incredible and it does increase by one mile per hour increments up and down when you adjust it we have our abs our hazards our dynamic traction control which is only available in race pro modes we have our blinkers and of course our, our horn with our clutch and our front brake now to quickly get into the menu so we can get this out of the way if we scroll down we have various different screens that we control with this wonderful wonder wheel starting with the my vehicle screen we have everything you need to know you know you have your how many miles you need your your battery tire pressures intake temperatures bike temperatures full systems check if you scroll over you have your onboard computer for your trip uh times miles consumption fuel consumption everything that you need to know and you have multiple uh different pages for that we come up here we have what is called the sport mode which 
does not put the bike into sport mode itself but mainly this changes a standard display to the different sport variants that are on the bike we have this one that has information like uh, your max lean angle which are right now are set to zero degrees right in the middle as you can see on the left we have our dynamic traction control how much that's kicking in its percentage on the right we have the amount of brake that we're applying in meters per second squared um, and if we scroll over to the right we have three other or two other settings one is very similar but instead displays lap times and lastly my personal favorite uh, one that displays lap times, lean angles, DTC, you know, same as the previous one, but in a very different configuration. We'll leave this on for now uh, while we ride. But I also want to show you guys three other amazing features that are on this incredible machine. We have our telephone that we're able to call and pick up and answer, you know, incoming calls on that will pop up on the display, which is phenomenal. We have our media that if I go in here, you can see that I'm actually listening to the weekend's new Dawn FM album. You have the songs, the album art, which is super, super incredible. If we use our Wonder Wheel, we're able to skip songs, we're able to go back, we're able to go into further details and see, you know, pause the music, see all the artists I have, all the tracks, albums. It's truly wonderful, and this is working off my Apple Music, but yes, it also works with Spotify. And lastly, we have navigation. So I'm just going to set something up before we start this cruise. So for navigation, we have, you can have something preset on your phone or if you're on the bike, you're riding, let's say I'm going from here to LA and I need gas, I'm able to simply go into my, a new destination where you have recent destinations that your phone's been pinging for your recent locations, favorites that are preset by you on the app or points of interest. So we go into our points of interest. We don't have a current route going, like I was saying, for example, from San Diego to LA. So we're going to go from our current location. We have all these different things to pop up, which is incredible. We have filling stations. If I want to get a drink, I want to park and rest, somewhere to stay, health, or other. Which I don't know what's in here. Oh, banks, cash dispensers, currency exchanges, police stations, tourist information, shopping center. So let's go ahead and go to the shopping center and look at that. We have all of these different... Oh wow, there you go. <laughs> Different places that we can go ahead and visit, which we'll get directions to. So for us, let's see if we can find, if it's available, Fashion Valley. There it is. So we're going to go ahead and ride to Fashion Valley so you guys can get an idea of what it's like to ride on the street and on the highway. So here we have our actual directions where it's able to tell us how much, how far away we are from the destination and also tells us you know, left, right, straight, how many feet we have to go or miles until we have to execute such thing. But the cool thing is, even though we do have our miles per hour, our speed limit, our gas, and our gear displayed on the top, we don't have to stay on the screen. We can simply go back up here to the standard screen where uh, the directions will be popping up as we ride. And remember, we do have our directions in the background. So we'll, we'll go off of what... Uh, pops up on the screen and we'll ride like this for a little bit on the regular dash before I switch over to the sport variant so we can see in 800 feet we're gonna make a left okay cool and as you can see miles per hour I'm going 15 let's see if we can go slower 11 10 11 miles per hour the bike is smooth no clutch I'm not bucking at all is riding very 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 nicely so it's it's really nice it's super super convenient especially for those that have ridden you know big leader bikes and know how how hard it is to ride in the street or tiring it can be sometimes um temperatures wise this bike doesn't really get hot at all unless unless you're really pushing it all day like at a track event and you're really getting the, that engine power going high rpms for large periods of time then it's a problem but right now uh normal city riding normal highway riding it's it's a breeze it's phenomenal oh look it says make a right at park boulevard in 200 feet so that's what we're gonna do that's how easy and convenient it is to ride this bike just the little things that matter in my opinion it is a beautiful day today uh the other day i recorded uh, you know for the intro it was really bright and then it got really really cloudy um, the footage was not great 
the audio was actually not good at all either so hopefully I fixed the problem for today but y'all be the judge of that as we can see we have our 55 mile per hour speed limit we're going 58 right now with our directions along with the lanes that we're supposed to be in which is really really cool and as you can see we passed that that uh, step in the direction so it dismissed the screen which is really really awesome but I want to show you guys how amazing it is to shift on this bike without the clutch okay so I'm just gonna wait for a little straightaway which I think is coming up and look how smooth this 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 is watch I'm gonna do it with no hands hopefully downshift four three two and we're not moving at all the bike is super smooth it's not lunging forward it, it's it handles it like a champ and then we can shift up as well three four five six the bike does it no bucking no issues no nothing it handles everything you throw at it and it's absolutely incredible incredible really really fun all the technology on this bike definitely makes you feel it's it's so much confidence inspiring because it, it keeps you your wheels firmly gripped firmly planted uh the stock tires that came on this bike are in my opinion really nice i don't know too much about them uh, i might show them to you guys once i park but um they're really nice they're super super gummy especially once they warm up and you just feel the grip which is something I've never experienced before because I've never had such a high tier bike, let's say. But again, the Fashion Valley Mall is just over there. The directions are, are really nice. They give us the best route. Everything work, Everything just works on this bike. Everything works and it's great. You know, right now we do have a little bit stiffer suspension because I personally enjoy riding in the race uh, mode but it's not necessary at all you know a uh, cool thing about this bike is you can actually switch modes on the fly so we can just switch over to road and just like that we're in road mode road mode and it uh, makes the suspension a little softer you know a little bit more comfortable for these cracked roads uh, the power to the throttle is reduced a little bit which i could see how it could be a little bit nicer uh, in the city just to avoid any issues um, and again, the dashboard is displaying all of our information. Our speed limit changed now to uh, 40 miles per hour as being the speed limit. Whether people follow that or not, you know, that's up to them. Okay, we're here. Here we are. We made it. We made it to the mall. So that should have ended the directions on its own. If not, it will pop a message up saying, do you want to end the ride now or not? Am I still recording? Yes, I am. I've had issues where my GoPro stops recording for some reason. Uh, but I'm glad it's still going. Alright, and now, we're just going to go ahead and turn around and head home. But I want to be able to get on the highway and show you guys what this bike is capable of on a straightaway. Just keep in mind that this motorcycle is still not flashed. So, for all of you guys that don't know, uh, these s 1000 rs that come to the States are actually factory restricted by the BMW factory in Germany. All those that come into the, the States. Um, why is that? I don't know. I think it has to do with emissions. But this one's still restricted. So you'll, you'll still see the power. You still get the power. It's just only when you hit that 9000 RPM range where it truly is... Um, where it truly is kicking in to how much power this, this motorcycle actually has. So we're just gonna go ahead and get on the highway and then I'll show you guys what this is capable of. Okay, like I mentioned, we're gonna check a couple of things actually. Uh, the automatic turn canceling signals, power with the quick shifter and the uh, cruise control. We'll go ahead and check that out right now. See how much traffic there is here though. Okay, so first things first, turn signals. So we go ahead and engage it, make that left hand turn, lane shift, and boom, it's off. Let's do it again. Shift your arm, merge, blinker, blinker, and it's off. Boom, just like that. Incredible. I don't know how it does it. Maybe with some 
gyroscopic thing. I don't know. So let's check out the speed. Super fun, guys. But this bike is dangerous. It's dangerous. If if you can't accept the responsibility of riding safe with full gear and respecting the laws of tra or rules of traffic, making sure there's no one in your way, this bike will get you in so much trouble because you can go extremely fast, as you guys saw, in no time. And keep in mind, again, this bike is restricted. It's not giving me all the power I can get out of it just yet. But you don't feel anything because BMW did such an amazing job making this bike with all the technology it has. You don't feel anything. You ride like butter through the streets or on these highways. I can only imagine what it's like on track because I haven't been able to take this on there just yet. Um, but that's pretty much everything that I, I wanted to cover on this bike. You know, I didn't want to stretch this video out for too long. I'm sure it's already long enough. But I just wanted to cover the main things that riders will use on a day-to-day -day basis. And I was on road mode. I just noticed I left it on road mode and not on race. So it could have been maybe a little bit faster. Um, but now, lastly, before I leave you guys, I'm going to go ahead and pop this into cruise control. Stretch out my hands a little bit. And uh, yeah, now you guys enjoy the view before I transition you guys to a, what a cold startup sounds like on this motorcycle. So thanks again for checking in with me. I really appreciate it. Go ahead and subscribe if you want. You know, all my content is educational for you guys for fun. So feel free to do whatever you want with it. But thanks again, guys. Stay safe. Ride safe. Take care.